Hey guys, Robert here. I want to talk about two things in this video. So, here we go. So I, um, first off, I want to talk about what this winter, oh my gosh. You know, I love snow. Oh, by the way, if you don't like snow, then then skip to another point of the video where I talk about the next thing. If you don't like snow, then then just skip to the next part. I'm going to do number two. So, if you do, then you can watch this. Not saying... I don't know. Anyways. So, I had a bad winter. If you didn't know. Because I... The year before, which was, you know, last year. What was that? <laughs> okay. A year before, which was last year. Oh, my gosh. I had, like, a lot of snow. You know, like, sledding. I used to sled. I even had some fun with sledding with my friend Christopher, or CJ, as he likes to be called. But this year, however, was definitely not that. Or the case. I had very little snow, so little snow that I never got to sled, like, any time. I never, ever got to sled. I was so depressed that I decided to put winter not on my favorite list. Not on my favorite um, season list. It was, it was never on my favorite season, season list, but now it's really not going to be on one. So... Not because there was little snow, but there was also a lot of storms. Well, a few storms, but that was the only thing that was worse. No, this doesn't make any sense. Th what was worse, there was only just sun instead of snow. There was barely any snowstorms, like none at all. So little that I had to like stay like at home doing nothing rather than my typical stuff, which was super boring. Bottom line for that, I call it the worst winter ever, because I never got to have any fun when compared to last year. Alright, now to number two. The next, the, another, the other thing. This was way, if you thought, if you thought that winter was bad, this was worse. Later, like, Earlier in March, my grandpa became sick, and, yeah, and he was not feeling too good. I last saw him alive, like, a few weeks before he became sick. And, uh, he became so sick that on March 21st, yes, this year, I, uh, no, not me, my grandfather, um, from that day to Sunday morning. No, no, Friday morning, not Sunday. It's almost the weekend. Thank God it's Friday. Anyways, so... Can I on Friday? Okay, I'm getting distracted. My, uh, grandpa was, like, like laying down, hoping things would get better, but it didn't. And he died in his sleep. I was so shocked. When I first heard it from my dad, and that was his father. My dad's father was Grandpa. And I was so shocked. I didn't cry. I just didn't move my face. And while I was eating breakfast, I had to go in my room doing nothing, just eating for the rest of it. A few days later, I had to skip school for three days. Literally. I didn't go to school until that Thursday. Again, I didn't go to school again until that Thursday. At least I got swimming the day before, which was a little highlight. But that was literally the only good thing during that time. Everything else was awful. What's even worse, I didn't even go to religion on Tuesday, which was when I was supposed to. That was not the only day I had to go to religion, but enough. As don't worry. Anyways, I had to go to three wakes in two days. One, the first one was in two wakes, you know, with the others. Like the the second day was like just one wake. I didn't go to the other because, um, because of my sister. 
she's in the hospital right now. My my older sister, she's in the hospital. This makes me to actually, I had to talk about three things. Number three. But that's not yet. I had to go, and eventually on Wednesday, the day I got to go swimming, I which was later, I had to go to his funeral. Yeah, it was depressing. But I had to go to the limo. It's the first time I went into the limo since I first heard about it. Or when I was born. I don't know. I had to go to a short, uh, no, church. And then I got some food and then I came home. And that was it. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I know. Alright, number three. Last thing. One day, my sister became sick, and she would, I hope, because every time she gets sick, it's short-lived. Then she got okay later on, but sadly, sorry, but sadly, it did not go well in the end. She's not dead. She'll be alive. I hope she will. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. Uh, I said. Later on, my uh, sister, my sister's back really got bad, and eventually she had to go to a hospital. Yeah, I was also very shocked to that. Fortunately, she's surviving. She's not dead. I told you. But don't worry, she'll survive. Um, I think that's what Grandpa would have wanted to survive. Anyways, I'm trying not to cry here because it's really sad. Anyways, uh, why do I keep saying anyways? Alright, um, so, when she got out of the hospital, she was supposed to have, she was supposed to have an inhaler, but she didn't get one, because of Long Island, you know, I live in Long Island, but I should never reveal your, my address on my channel, because I don't, I don't think the police would like it at all. Anyways, they'll spy on me or something. It's not good. I hope this is not causing controversy. Or controversy, whatever. Anyways, uh... I'm not, this Long Island has been really hurting me for the past few years. I've been really bad. No, not me. Like, the town has been really bad to me. And I've been waiting for a long time for this to go away and I was getting a little a big advice from these people that would think so it will be all right in the end but it never happened all right back to Madison this is getting distracting I'm having a tough life here but I don't want to talk to you about that anymore until maybe another video we'll see anyways sorry uh so, she had to go back to the hospital a few days after she came back from, to home, which was very upsetting, and thereby her, she only got worse from there on, and she's now still sick. I mean, she's still in the hospital. She, my dad or mom, I don't remember, said that she'll be back by this weekend, I guess, because the week before which was last week, my, she, they, t what, whoever that was, told me, I think it was mom or dad, told me that she'll be there the next week, which was, which is this week, surprisingly. <laughs> Anyways, she says that she'll be back by this week, and I guess, not today, because, oh my gosh, it's, oh my gosh, it's before 11. Oh gosh, that's not good. I got to go to bed. Anyways, this is not my bed, but don't worry, I'll be bed in it in bed in a few minutes anyways so wow anyways i'm gonna oh my gosh i will not say anyways again hopefully anyways uh, okay so uh she's still in the hospital i hope she'll survive which should have happened to my grandfather at least he turned 80 but not my nana i'll talk to you about my nana in another video which is another video, you know. 
anyways, it's been 10 minutes since, since I've been recording this. And now, she's still in the hospital. I told her she'll recover, and I said this a lot of times. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you pay respects to my grandfather. And I want you to, to tell him, just rest in peace, Grandpa. Love you. Alright, that's enough. Thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe. And if, I know you're not going to like this video since it's so sad. But at least there's no music to make it worse. Or upset, more upsetting. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Love you. Bye.